Hey folks, today we're going to be fishing with a Dominke 3 inch armor shad. Okay? Also, we're going to be using the 3 inch armor shad paddle tail. Okay? Cold water, wintertime fishing. Let's go catch some bass on these baits. I don't think he's that big. I think he thinks he is. I'm going to tell you, you're surprised how hard some of these fish fight in cold water. I pulled the net, I hit the side of the run, didn't it? Pulled me right into my net handle, didn't it? Again, guys, I'm using a medium light rod, eight pound test, so that makes all these fish feel a lot bigger. That's what you do in the winter time, too. And, you, and the light line, you, hey, four and hey, I took myself my finger. He's about 14 inches, something like that. He's pushing it, he probably ain't quite. He's probably 13, seven eighths. Well, he's a nice fish. Got a belly on him. See you, Robert. All right, guys. We got fish on here. Oh, he's not a bad one. I've lost so many today, guys. Y'all know I, I net them a lot of time, but I've lost so many today, even before I ever get a chance to net them. All right. Doing something a little different. Doing something a little different. He's about 12 inches. Okay. All right, guys. I got a Dominke bait. It's a three-inch armor shad. And I got him on a little Ned rig head. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just casting it around here, guys. Have y'all ever done that? And I'm not. I'm not dropping it in vertical. If I see some fish vertical, uh, I'll drop in vertical. But what I'm doing is casting it out. All right. Letting it sink. Just like you would a Ned rig. Okay. And I'm just popping a little bit. Just like that. Look at there, guys. Just like that. See you there? That's what I'm doing. Comes another. Oh, look here. And the bass are schooling in the wintertime. Y'all know that. Water's 48 degrees, guys. This is the first This is the first day of January. And uh, the bass are schooling. They're chasing shad. So... All right, see, they're all about the same size. They're schoolers. He might be 13. See you, Bill. That's Bill the Bass. All right, that's what I'm doing, guys. Having fun. Just, just trying to catch some fish. If I catch a big one, it's a bonus, right? If I catch a big bass, that's a bonus. Just having a ball. Enjoying the first of the year. You're supposed to set goals on this day, too, right? Mine's to fish more. And I have fished every day now for like 12 days in a row. <laughs> but about two. All right, look here, guys. See that? See that? Those are schooling bass. All right. Now here's what I, here's what I'm gonna do. Show you all again. This is a, this was a good idea. Good time. Uh, they'll stay there. All right. They're right here. Uh, I think I overthrew them, guys. They're because they're coming toward me. So that's, oh, okay. I'm trying to show y'all something. See him forward up there? See my bait? My bait just fell right down through him. All right, I got one of them. Ah, right, he come off. That was my bait. See him after my bait there? All right, I lost him. All right, got one of them again. So I don't think they're going to be very big. Look at the whole school coming in here. <laughs> the whole school came with him. That's what I figured. See there? Now, isn't that? <laughs> I know he's not very big, but that's video game fishing, right? That's a lot of fun. Now, somebody commented on my video the day. They'd never seen anybody do this with bass, only with crappie. Well, maybe I'm the first one. I don't know. But uh, I'm just I'm just going fishing and sharing with y'all what I'm learning and what I'm doing. So. I was reeling the back in and getting ready to pick it up out of the water to cast again, and he grabbed it. So, how active will they get in the cold water? <laughs> he chased it clean through the boat. <laughs> He's a largemouth too. He ain't very big either, guys. He might be. He might be 11 inches. 
This is another school with bass shad, guys. There's a bass underneath of them. It's a bass on top. See how it's kind of L-shaped, cutting the top of the school because they're trying to get away from the bass. I'm trying to keep up with them, guys. It's really tough sometimes. Oh, he's a jumper, too. All right, guys, I haven't moved. I'm in the same spot. The wind's coming out on this point, and I'm just using the point because the shad are coming. The shad are coming through. I see little schools of shad. Not many. Maybe, oh, balls of shad are six, eight foot big. You know, they would have been broken up. He's a small one. But he's on the uh, swimming tail one, okay? And this, shell, this color's called shad. And that's why I put it on there. It's a little cloudy. It's starting to get a little cloudy right now. Like I say, it's supposed to rain tonight. I will tell you, they're not easy to catch today. And I've seen a couple get pretty close to the boat on live scope, and I toyed with them, and they wouldn't touch it. Both four of them just followed it. Because I know the, of course, they're pretty close to the boat, guys. They, you, they're suspicious once they see that boat. They ain't dummies. They've been around a while. And there's times they do act like they're dumb. <laughs> there's times they act, they act like they ain't got no sense at all in it. But they're not as dumb as we think, we think they are. He just spit something out. All right, that's a spotted bass there. Been catching largemouth, and that's a spot. And the spots are a lot more aggressive, guys. I'll tell you that. He hooked good too. He's a fat thing, isn't he? Great, day. He ain't real long, but he's fat. I switch colors on y'all. See ya, Sam. I like to give him a name once in a while. <laughs> I just do it to be funny. I always thought Flair. Y'all know who he is. He always done that. And I thought that was kind of funny. I just copying him a little bit guys having fun with him this is a uh, baby bass color and i swear it's because it's getting a little bit cloudy now it's starting to pop back out but it's cl cloud cover coming behind me but uh thought let's try it but it's called baby bass and uh he hit it i've got three colors in it i got the uh white silver baby bass and pro blue and all three of them i've caught fish on them uh i've drop shot them if y'all ever drop shot these i've done better you know a lot a lot with them drop shot uh, and uh, this is just another way you can use them in the winter time. In the winter time, it's a small finesse offering. It's got enough action on that tail, as y'all can see. So if you're fishing clear water to some, you know, some clear, cold water, this is something else you can do. And guys, I'm just casting back, working it back slow, hopping it. If it hits the bottom, I hop it off the bottom, and I swim it a little ways, and I hit, kind of like you would a swim jig or something like that. I'm not working it on the bottom like a Ned rig. Do I sometimes? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes I hit the bottom and I hop it two or three times. I hop it hard too. And then I'll swim it a little bit. And that's usually when they hit it. When I hop it and then swim it, that's when I see my line being jumped. Okay? I reckon it looks like something coming off the bottom and running from her maybe. You know, if they get close to it. Right, let's try it again. Oh my gosh. I don't think this is a bass, guys. He's on took drag. I'm going to try to keep my back to the wind. But it's fast. Let's see if we can see him on the live scope. That's a decent sized fish. I see three of them. I can't, I can't show y'all guys here. So it could be a bass. It's three of them, whatever they are. The other ones are traveling with him. The other ones are traveling with him. And I, so if it's a bass, it's three nice bass. But I caught a striper two days ago, guys. So stripers are running through here too. That's a nice bass. That's a nice bass. Let me see if we can keep him on here. Found him. Come here, buddy. Look at there, guys. Woohoo! Hee <laughs> Now we having fun. Nice spotted bass. He's a decent fish. He took the line. Jay, Jay. Isn't he a nice one? Look at the gosh. These spotted bass get fat. And boy, he hit it one time, guys. He ain't hurt. I, I just get my fingers on it. Uh, I might have got my pliers. It's right there in that white part of his throat. Uh, he ain't hurting. He hit it one time. He hit it hard. My fingers just ain't long enough to reach it. There it is. See? There it is. I'm sorry, guys. I wrapped a rag around my camera trying to cut the noise down. The wind noise. I don't know if it's helping or not. Got in the way there, didn't it? That's a nice bass, guys. 
a wild bill the way he fought see you wild bill all right guys the next cast back to that area i didn't see the fish i'm just throwing up on that point the, it's a windy point and the bass are using it because shad are coming across it and i'm having the ball right here oh boy oh boy <laughs> This is fun. You catch some decent ones, guys. I got light action, medium light rod anyway. And that's what, hey, that's what it is about this light rod, this eight pound test. You get more bites and man, you get to feel the fight. I'm fishing 30, I'm sitting in 31 foot of water, throwing up to a point that's shallow. Throwing up to about 10 foot, eight, 10 foot guys. Maybe six foot and starting back with it. The bass scene, when I can see them, they're about 10 foot. And the water's 48 degrees. He's another, another big spot. Water's 48, but they're chasing shad. So as long as they're chasing shad, they're gonna be up in that six, eight, 10 foot. Sun shining, they probably like that too. That's the baby bass. That's a fellow spotted bass in there, guys. Nothing wrong with him. Y'all can hear the wind, it's dead and stopped. This is a little nicer. And this is on the swimming, oh yeah. This is on the swimming, uh, the minky shad. Got the tail on it. The minky shad, three inch, guys. I'm going to tell you what. They're not just for drop shot. <laughs> That's a nice bass there, guys. Make sure y'all recording. Okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes, guys, my camera's got a mind of its own. But that's a nice little fat bass, isn't it? Now, that was on the swimming one guys and this shad's called it's called shad doesn't it look like a shad ah well, guys it's three casts in a row like i said i missed throwing toward that point but the, like i said the bass are here are fired up because they're chasing shad when you get into schoolers like this isn't it fun and you know what i probably could throw something else maybe and catch them i was just thinking about that but hey why would I want to switch? I like using a single hook when I can. You know, I, I, treble hook baits are fine. And y'all gonna see me fish a jerk bait and something probably this winter before it's over with. And I like fishing a jerk bait. He's a fat thing too. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the ride. Uh, I like throwing a jerk bait and a crank bait some. But when I can catch them on a single hook, I'd rather fish a single hook. It's safer on my hands. And it's better for the fish. Now, when you're throwing something this small, as soon as you feel them hit it, you gotta set the hook. You gotta watch your line, because they will they can swallow it so easy. They can grab it one gulp and be gone. But it's close to the shad. Now I was throwing a shad color. You think with the chasing shad, that white one would be better, wouldn't you? But this color seems to be better, maybe because it's different. Who knows? Anybody knows how we ever figured bass out, right? <laughs> Hey folks, three inch armor shad, white silver flake, baby bass, another one's pro glue. They come in a package that looks like this. Guys, they're great baits. The other thing I was throwing, this here is called the armor shad paddle tail. All right, let me show you. I've got one rigged up on the paddle tail. I'll show you that first. I had a little six and a half foot light action rod, six pound test. Yep, that's called American shad. Isn't that clear looking? Kind of bluish gray spike, worked really good. Guys, this has open hook. That is the Z-Man Ned head hook. I use that because it has a real fine hook. With six pound test and a light action rod, you want a fine hook. Now guys, what I was doing with this one is when I seen the schoolroom bass, or I would throw over and get a couple bumps on the other one, I'd pick this one up, throw out there, swim it back. Guys, I swim it back six to eight, 10 foot. I was catching fish on that. The other way I was working it, was on this weedless head. I don't know the name of this head, guys. I'm gonna look it up. I'll put it in the description below, okay? Now look, it's got a brush guard. I worked it just like a Ned rig. This is eight pound test. This is my Dobbins Fury, guys, medium light. I would let it hit the bottom, hop it. Hit the bottom, hop it. I was in 30 foot. Once I got past 12 or 15 foot, you know, down that deep, I would stop it and just reel it back slow. A lot of them hit me that way. A lot of times I look and see bass over at 8, 10 foot of water. I see them straight. So I showed you in a nice coat. I would just throw that direction. Sometimes it never hit the bottom. It'd be going down. I think one time I made three casts and caught three bass. 
because they're chasing Shad on these windy points. The water's 48 degrees, guys. Even in the wintertime, they go eat on these Shad, and these Shad come in these coves, they go get after them. Just stay close to deep water, okay? And you'll find fish. Guys, these worked really well. I caught over 25 bass. And this, on this lake, that's, that is great. This is not an easy lake to catch fish on, guys, at times. But right now, it's not much boat traffic. The people I'm seeing are fishing for crappy and white perch. Okay? We might just do that one day. All right? They work great, guys. And you can you can drop shot these. There's other things you can do with them. If you say, well, I might try. Don't be afraid to buy a bag of them. If you buy a bag of them and you don't have luck with them doing this, you can you can drop shot them, guys. But this is not a Mickey rig. I wasn't a Mickey rigging. Okay? I was using that style of bait. And this is what they use on a Mickey rig. But the Mickey rig, they broke a jig, or they call it tight line. Look it up, guys. There's been people have videos that on when they do that in Tennessee. I was working like a Ned rig, like I say, on the bottom, and I was just throwing it out there, working it down, bouncing it, reeling it back, bouncing it, and I was catching fish on it, guys. It worked. 48 degree water, pretty clear water. I caught bass off the bottom. I caught bass that was schooling. Hey, my name is Dennis, Fishing Lake Country, sharing something else with you guys. Uh, hit that like button, guys, and please subscribe, and we'll see you next time right here on Fishing Lake Country.